highlights a direct-to-patient initiative to collect biological specimens and clinical data to accelerate breast cancer genomics research. I'd like to introduce Dr. Nikhil Wagle, a medical oncologist at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston and an associate member of the Broad Institute in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Dr. Wagle. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I'm delighted to present this morning <clears throat> an overview of our study, the Metastatic Breast Cancer Project, a national direct-to-patient direct to initiative to accelerate genomics research. Metastatic breast cancer is breast cancer that is spread beyond the tissues of the breast. An estimated 150,000 women and men in the U.S. are living with metastatic breast cancer. The median survival is about three years, and more, more than 40,000 people die annually, accounting for 7% of all U.S. cancer deaths. Although treatments are improving, metastatic breast cancer is currently not curable. In order to make advances in our understanding of metastatic breast cancer, we need to be able to study tumor specimens from patients, ideally tumor specimens that are linked to clinical information. The challenge has been that most tumor specimens are not available for these types of studies, largely because the vast majority of cancer patients are treated in community settings, which don't do these types of research. In fact, most patients have never been asked if they'd like to contribute a tissue sample or medical information for biomedical research. To address this, we've launched the Metastatic Breast Cancer Project, a direct-to-patient nationwide study to engage patients via social media and advocacy groups and empower them to accelerate this type of research by sharing their samples and clinical information. Working with a number of patients, patient advocates, and patient advocacy groups, we developed a website, you can see here, mbcproject.org, that asks patients, do you want to help transform our understanding of metastatic breast cancer? Interested patients can come to the website, learn about our project, and if they are interested, click Count Me In and provide their contact information. We launched this website in October of 2015 using Twitter and Facebook and the help of numerous advocacy organizations to reach out to patients with metastatic breast cancer. In the first seven months since we've launched, more than 2,000 patients from all 50 states have enrolled in this study. In addition to providing their contact information, 95% of these patients have provided detailed information about their cancer, their treatments, and their experiences. Importantly, this database of 2,000 patients has allowed us to identify groups of patients to study. In particular, rare patients that have been particularly challenging to identify using traditional approaches. This includes exceptional responders, which are patients, rare patients who have unexpected dramatic responses to therapies. It also includes patients diagnosed at a very young age and patients who have metastatic disease as their initial diagnosis. The overarching goal of the Metastatic Breast Cancer Project is to accelerate discoveries that will lead to new treatments and treatment strategies for our disease, for this disease. This is our approach. Once patients have signed up, we send them an online consent form that asks for their permission for us to obtain copies of their medical records and to perform sequencing studies on their tumor and germline DNA. Once patients consent, our team requests copies of their medical records and, uh, and, and, um, and then obtains portions of their stored tumor tissue. Patients mail us a saliva sample uh, using a kit that we send them. Tissue samples then undergo genomic analysis in our research laboratory, and the genomic information is analyzed in the context of clinical data in order to help improve our understanding of metastatic breast cancer. Importantly, all of the de-identified clinical and genomic data that we generate in the study will be shared widely for other researchers to use, so that the tissue and data donated by patients may be used for multiple studies. As we have been collecting clinical information and sequencing tumors and analyzing data, we've also seen an emerging social movement that emphasizes the partnership between researchers and patients. Over the past few weeks, we've been seeing more and more of these selfies where patients are saying, count me in, and showing pictures of themselves with the saliva kits. I'll read just four brief quotes from some of our participants. One says, I want to live and watch my children grow up, but if I can't, then I want to leave a legacy and a cure. As someone who does not live near a research center and therefore cannot easily participate in trials, I feel like I can finally contribute. 
Amazing how happy that little box makes you feel. I felt like a two-year-old. Let me help. I feel a sense of pride and belonging because of this. And finally, the metastatic breast cancer project giving us hope for the future, and if not for some of us, for our families. In conclusion, partnering directly with patients through social media enables the rapid identification of thousands of patients willing to share tumor, tumors, saliva samples, and medical records to accelerate research. In particular, this study enables the study of rare patients like exceptional responders who are otherwise challenging to find with traditional approaches. We intend this to be a shared resource for all researchers so that all clinical and genomic data generated in this study will be shared widely. And finally, this is a proof of concept study that we hope will serve as a model for patient-driven research in other cancer types. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Wadley, for a really excellent presentation. Now, this is an outstanding study from an investigator who has been supported by the Conquer, uh, Conquer Cancer Foundation. We glean a lot from patients who have had a unique and uncharacteristic response to therapy. For instance, patients with advanced cancer who have a complete remission of their disease for many years. It's also helpful to understand the biology of patients with distinct ethnicities or patients who are at the extremes of age. Oftentimes, as Dr. Wagley points out, these patients are treated in a community-based setting, making it challenging to obtain specimens. And Dr. Wagley's program bridges that gap and offers patients a seamless way using social media and other platforms to provide their clinical information and specimens. Now, if his paradigm continues to enjoy the same success it has thus far with incredibly, incredibly rapid enrollment, this patient-driven model is something that we should implement really across disease types. At this point in time, we'd now like to open the floor to 